Hey, what is up guys? My name is Thomas Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're testing out Tempest Browser. This is a browser that's supposed to be privacy friendly and I've been reading that it's kind of like Brave Browser but without the cryptocurrency component. So that sounds really good. Hey guys, this video is not sponsored by Tempest. They're not paying me to make this video and I'm not an affiliate for them either. But if you do want to help support the channel and use some of my recommended products and recommended affiliates, you can check out vpntierless.com. I have some really good deals on this website if you're looking to check out some anti-dox tools, um, data broker removal tools, get cheaper discounts on something like Netflix, get a VPN router, or choose one of the VPNs with all sorts of reviews here. So make sure to check out vpntierlist.com. Um, let's go ahead and see what it's like. So it gives you the option to import different things. We're gonna skip that for now, and it wants you to maybe set it as your default browser if it's an option. You can also sign in to get bookmark part passwords and all devices. Um, so if you want to use it on your phone, which is kind of cool. Um, so now we're going to be setting it up. We just put no thanks. Um, so right away, it does feel like Chrome. Uh, it's based on Chrome. Yum. <laughs> um, default search engine. Um, it does. I've read that it has like its own little search engine. So let's go kind of ahead and uh, kind of explore around the application. Uh, yep, pretty familiar. Feels very similar to Brave and Chrome. There's some different things to sync and import stuff. If we look at the privacy and security section, you could block ads and trackers. So that's pretty nice. Um, this is just tr block trackers. Um, all this stuff looks pretty, uh, you could disable the anonymous data, crash reports. Uh, if we look at security, we have standard protection. Um, Secure DNS is automatically enabled with Cloudflare, which is interesting. And it also has a couple other DNS options. Next DNS, which is nice. And that's a pretty good one. Um, we also have some appearance settings. Um, it defaults to dark mode, which is pretty nice. Um, it doesn't look like it has a lot of those kind of like components that Brave does, you know, some of these torrenting things and whatnot. Um, and then we have the search browser you could customize as well, um, or just go to whatever website you want. Um, search engine used. Um, so this is like their their website itself. Um, and we could take a look at this really quick. Um, it says it's browsing without the ick factor. Um, find stuff you love in seconds flat, whether it's sports news or weather, or info cards. So how do you use the info cards? Um, interesting. So it does seem to be kind of like, um, this is Tempest private search. So this is their, um, it was just barely updated. This is their specific search. Um, and it says they collect no personally identifiable information, no cookies. The search is encrypted. Looks pretty good so far. Our privacy reports give you search by search snapshot of all the trackers, ads, and crabs we filter. Um, so that is pretty cool. Um, so how do we how do we look at that? This is like a reading list up here um, Bookmarks Tempest private search. So I'm not really I'm not really sure if you know We need to add this or not to Chrome or the Tempest browser. Is it gonna really do anything? Um, we could kind of do this. I already know how to do that pretty well. Um, so it's kind of added it up here in the corner um, so this is pretty similar to uh, Something like uh, uBlock Origin, it looks like. Let's go to Reddit and see kind of how that works. Um, so we're going to Reddit right now. And we see that it's blocking trackers. So yeah, overall pretty pretty similar to something like uBlock Origin, seemingly. Um, how good is my browser test cookies? So there is a bra there's a website that I like to test. It's called Cover Your Tracks. Um, and this is a good way to test the browser natively to see what it's like um you know with its security and stuff like that so we're going to test that out um we can kind of keep playing around with it as it's running um so the main thing here is this this is kind of like the browser or the browser extension um and it, talking about tempest search so they have like that tempest search component and then also um the browser component um so it's kind of like that extension the search and um the browser which is interesting um, so it talks about Tempest here. They don't really track anything and stuff like that. Um, I want to go ahead and look kind of like, um, let's look at like the search again. So we do see an ad right here, which is a little disappointing. 
Um, sometimes these ads can be blocked. Um, but we do see a kind of a cool little card here. Um, I do think that's pretty similar to Chrome, however. Um, we could go back here. Um, it looks like it is blocking some ads and it has partial protection and randomized fingerprint, but not completely random. Looks like there is some little bit of a leeway right there. Um, so that's something to think about. Um, we could kind of test it against Brave and see the comparison. So if we're looking at Brave, it does seem like there's a little bit more customization with the shield component um, when comparing it with something like Tempest. Um, if we go to the settings and kind of look at the privacy and security, um, it looks like we could manage the filter lists, which is kind of cool, um, and the exceptions. Um, but let's go ahead and kind of look at Brave in comparison. Um, we have the shields, we have the blocking trackers, um, tracker and apps we have we could change it to aggressive or standard and scripts content filtering um, so you could kind of add different lists here and kind of add things here as well um, so overall let's go ahead and test it in brave now now as far as my configuration with brave goes i haven't really customized it too much uh, most things should just be kind of like default of course the more you kind of customize some of these things the more chances a lot of websites will break and have issues. So it really kind of comes down to, um, you know, how much you are willing to kind of have issues to have better privacy. Um, but overall, it looks like it's about uh, the same um, as uh, Brave, just from default to default about the same. So overall, pretty similar um, to Brave. Um, it, it does seem like, you know, the settings at least kind of comparatively it seems like um, it feels more bare bones. We have the sync and search feature directly to compare search engine. Um, so Tempest is the one using here, um, probably because I have the um, you know the add-on installed. And here we could customize the search engine to a little bit more options, which is kind of nice. I kind of do like that. It gives options like start page, um, a good variety of options, whereas the other one just kind of gives you Tempest or some other shitty ones, which I don't, I'm not a huge fan of. We do have the Braid Rewards, but that did get disabled. Um, I don't think they do Brave Rewards anymore. And here is kind of like the shields and customizations, like I said before. Um, and, and of course, we do have some of these um, lists to configure. Um, so overall, do I think this is worth it um, when compared to Brave? Is it better to use? Um, well, honestly, I'm not really that sold on it. It seems okay. It seems a little bare bones. Um, you can do pretty similar things with it. The, 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 the protection here is about the same. Of course, you can always add more add-ons and everything like that. If you guys really don't like Brave and you're looking for an alternative, this one could be good to try out. Um, besides, you know, having a little bit of limited options maybe in the settings, it does seem to be decent. Um, I looked a little bit into um, the owner of the company. Apparently, he's a pretty successful entrepreneur and he sold a lot of his former products to uh, China, I do believe. Um, so that's a little kind of odd, but again, not too strange in the tech world to have a successful company and then sign it, um, you know, sell it off to someone else. I did find this is what I found on Reddit. Someone was talking about it. Um, it was founded by Michael Levitt in 2016. Levitt has sold two of his tech and ad companies to Chinese entities. Tempest does collect data on you, but does not state in their privacy policy if they sell that data to others. Um, so that guy said that, but I haven't really seen too many people talking about it. So if you're looking to try it out, go ahead and try it out. It's completely free to use and make up your own opinion about it. And let me know down in the comments down below.